Let's go over simple and easy how to create your own customer feedback form in Canva. So you do not have to pay for Canva. You can get a free version of this. I will leave the link down below in the description form where you can actually get a free 30 day trial on all of the, even the pro features, but you don't have to sign up for the pro if you don't want to. So what I did was you can create a customer feedback form in Canva. I just simply did a search of their Google templates or sorry, their Canva templates and then just customize this template here. It's going to come back here and you can customize it however you want. So if you just want to keep it simple, leave it like this, but let's say you want to change up some colors. You just have to click edit design right here. It takes a second to kind of pop up and then you can just create it changing your own colors. I have some of my own branded colors here. So let's just say I want to do light blue. I want to take out this little image. I like to do search for different type of elements like this in the elements tab right here. Let's say um, I like teeth. I'm all about dental. So let's say we want to add teeth. Let's just do the first one that comes to mind. The first one that kind of shows up there. I would just do it like this. You can make it smaller, bigger. You can change the text however you want. You can add in your own. You can change the different text options here. There's a ton of them. You can also change the color of your text, all of the different styles, spacing, uppercase, position. I could go on here. Like it's amazing. Let's say you want to add even more. Let's say you want to add something um, again. I'm in teeth, I'm in dental, let's just do something like that. Let's say you just wanna add a little thing here, it pops up, you wanna add something here. Done and done, right? And then you wanna save that. Look how much nicer this looks and it's customized. But what if now these colors don't really match what you want? You just click on whatever you wanna change. And then this is always the one to change the colors. Let's say we want light blue, that's hard to see, so let's do dark blue. What if we want to change the lines? There is a way to change the lines. I'm just having a trouble, an issue with that now. Okay, we don't want black. That's changing the entire thing. Sometimes you have to like really click on what you want, but you get the idea. You can change anything you want here. Let's say, and you, you know, you do kind of have to play with it. So let's say you want to change this part. You just kind of have to play with the different designs. When I first knew about Canva, I think I was just having fun playing with different designs for like two hours. So beware, this will take you, you'll have fun playing with it. Like it's not a quick 10 minute thing. But notice here how I did change that color. You can actually go down here and click change all. So then you don't have to manually go and do all of them. Um, yes, you guys, as you notice, I'm still trying to change the line here. I can't figure it out. But another thing, like if this was me and I didn't have a lot of time and I couldn't figure out how to change the color of the line, I would just click it and click delete. Oh, that's not deleting either. Usually it does. Hey, this is a live video, no editing. <laughs> This is what happens, but something else that I want to show you guys quickly before I forget. Let's just click on something. Notice this plus sign. It's called add magic. You can ask it to do anything. So you can ask it to add in a line chart, a bar chart, a pie chart, um, emb embed something. You can add in logos. Let's say um, magic, right? I use this often. So let's say I want to... Um, Shoot, I can't think of anything for a customer feedback form. But normally if I was writing a document, I might say something like, write me another question for a customer feedback form, click generate, and then it actually does it for you. So see how it's highlighted in green here? Just click away and you could either keep that in there or click delete and take it away. So it's really, really nice. You can take anything off. Let's say you don't like the bottom, just highlight the whole thing and click delete. Let's say you want to add in your own logo. I just happen to have mine saved here. Let's just add this one and you can add it right at the bottom. 
and it looks so professional, so easy. Of course, there's some tweaking to do, but you get the idea. So Canva is free. I'm going to leave the link for you guys down below at the bottom. Have a look. You get, um, when you sign up, you get a, a, a free 30 days to all of the, um, the features. I have the pro plan, but it's because I literally use all of the features. Um, like I use stock images, everything, but you don't have to for something as simple like this. Try it out. You will fall in love with it. Comment be below if any questions and thank you guys so much for watching.